All right, what is up, guys? We are going to be playing Sekiro. Sekiro, the shadows die twice. All right, guys, I have already beaten this game, but just for you, we're going to go English text. And we are going to start a new game. We're going to be doing the Sekiro Shadows Die twice. Let's play. In the closing years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, spreading deep into the mountains the land of Ashina. That is actually a killing blow that you can perform in the game on larger enemies. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose. Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a Master Shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the Shinobi Code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? I believe the translation of Sekiro is Wolf. Ishin, when we meet him, uh, he will give you that name. Some As of right now, you don't Ishin's have one. Coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Yeah, you don't actually have a name. Your name is, nickname is Wolf. The boy he had sworn to protect. All right, boys and girls. And days and thems, we don't discriminate on this channel. Let's get into this. Shinobi. Open your eyes. 
when From Software made this game, I was ec ecstatic. I was like, wow, my god, like, I can't believe they finally came out with, you know, a really good game. I was like, just like, oh, it's gonna be another Dark Souls game. Like, no, this is gonna be something better, like, I love anything Japanese, like Samurais and, you know, just anything. Their culture is just amazing. Alright. So we get a letter. That's Crouch. Jump. And circle, I believe, is to run? What's run? Oh, I forgot it's double jump because you can jump off of a wall. <laughs> Shimmy. Okay. Dance without being seen by crouching in bushes or moving under floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. Use stealth to avoid enemies and head to the moon view tower. If you, if you, if you're about to be seen, warning markers appear above enemy heads. Okay. That should this, be at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. The moon light shines strongly on the moon view tower tonight. The divine air is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. I agree, bro. But I'm sure Lord Genichiro has his reasons. So the guys you're about to kill are aren't, aren't total monsters, I guess. Shimmy. I pressed circle once and just fell. And this is your master. Dude looks like a lady. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. You did well to come here. He is a boy. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you. My lord. Well then. Why he's so angry, balling up his fist like that, it's like... Raise your head. Kusabimaru, your sword. How he has it, I don't know. Why they would give the kids a sword. In accordance with the bond of Lord and Retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. It's funny because um, his sword's name is Kusabi ba Kusabi Maru, and there is an attachment or a uh, side weapon that you get for your, uh, well, I won't ruin it for those who you actually haven't seen this game before. I won't ruin it right now. Um, 
but there is a side weapon that you get is is Sabi Maru, and if you guys have ever watched um, Bleach, there is a character named Renji who has a sword. It is a snake, and it's a snake sword. It, uh, if you've seen the show, you know what it is. It detaches and like breaks apart into separate like sections and and just moves like a snake and wiggles and he can whip it and all that good stuff. And it's it's the name is Sabi Maru. And if I'm not mistaken, it means it means a uh, snake or something like that. So, <clears throat> talk to this guy real quick. Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your. Sweet. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward. After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. <clears throat> no. Well, right now we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. Okay. So the healing gourd is um, an item that we oops, we can equip. Blah, 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 yeah, five slots. Okay, so this one we're going to put right here. Pellets we're going to put here. Home, the home ward, uh, homeward idol. I, I thought it would be home ward, but it's homeward. Homeward, uh, homeward idol. Blah, blah, I can't even talk, sorry. The homeward idol. The pellets are another form of healing. It does a small amount of health. It's good enough to, you know... To keep so just constantly keep your eyes out for these especially if you're in an area and you use all your healing gourds you have to um find a praying idol to uh refill it and you know basically when you do that it's like using a camp uh, the bonfire in dark souls once you do that all your enemies will respawn and yeah it's it's a give and take, so you get your healing back, but you get also enemies back in that same point, in that same area. You can get um, gourd seeds that will increase the volume of the water. It's very mystical. Okay, let's go kick some ass. All right, a shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. R1 to attack. R1 after breaking posture to death blow. So that's an easy way to get a kill. And then just keep attacking. So you can hold circle to run. It's also the dodge, so run and dodge. Beware. When you kill an enemy and another enemy uh, witnesses it or hears it, he will come about and um, uh, it try to explore the noise. When these guys are harder to fight, they block. The other guys really don't. So L is your parry. And I just died. I did not mean to die. I really didn't want to die right there, but hey, it happens. So, at this time, you will just keep dying and returning there. I should have used the healing gourd, honestly. So yeah, these guys have weak posture. You can easily break their, um, their posture by... Uh, just one block. In the beginning, it's easier to um, just do this. Because you're more likely to block at the right moment by just keep doing it. But don't hold it. Holding it will cause your posture to break and you'll be, um, <clears throat> you'll be open for a death blow. So you don't want that. Running and attacking is a 
stronger it's a stronger attack. Yeah, running and wow. I'm so used to clicking down on the left joystick to run. In so many different games, that's what it is. Okay. Sorry, I just had to kill that guy. <laughs> it's just I just had to. Okay. Um there are tough enemies um in this game, like this guy, who have two, and it is easier to try to sneak up on them. But as you can see, they're not very hard. Ooh, yeah, don't try to... Yeah, so I got some pellets from him. So we're gonna do... Okay, by pressing left and right, you can switch. Pressing down doesn't do anything. That will, I think, switch your, um, your interchangeable items when you do, um, get them. Pressing up will use them. I do believe pressing triangle will use your alternate weapon if whatever weapon you have equipped. <coughs> okay, can't open here, so we do have to go this way. Dude, I keep crouching when I'm trying to run. Oops. Oh, I've made it. I think there was an item down there uh, somewhere that I'm supposed to go grab, but I'll go ahead and grab that later. You know that secret passage at the bottom of the moat, under the bridge? We just got orders to guard it. Mm. Here we go, tight. Yeah, so anytime you hear people talking and you see that little yellow icon, go ahead and eavesdrop. <gasps> oh! How did I survive? Uh, oh, yeah, you don't get. These things are poisonous, so be careful. Ooh, he's like, Bleh. yeah, so be careful of those guys, they are poisonous. And if you don't have anything to heal your poison, you're going to die. Um, why am... Oh, I was like, where am I going? Okay, so don't do what I did and jump off like that. That is just utter stupidity. Um, I don't think I can get back up this way. There we go. Can I shimmy, shimmy, shimmy? No, I just go across over here. So, I'm an idiot. I just... I keep wanting to press the... These guys are usually harder to kill, so... Don't be cocky just because you killed this guy, because they are tough. They're, they um, have different hats on that are like uh, shields, and they will just bow their heads so that you can't uh, do damage to them. More pellets. Alright, we're going to go fight Lord Ginichiro, and he's a bastard, man. He is tough. That is a praying idol. That's basically like your bonfire. <sighs> Place. Yes, my lord. To 
to think that this is the only way. To run from the faded bloodline is the only answer. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord. <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. I wish in this game that you could get stronger weapons. I honestly really wish that was possible. There he is. That son of a bitch. Lord Genichiro. He's tough, so, I mean, I beat him once here in the beginning, but I've also beat the game. And I went straight back to a new startup. And it wasn't easy, but I did beat him. But you, the outcome is still the same. You still get fucked up. And he takes the Divine Air. I'm trying to think of where that name is from, Genichiro. It's from an anime, I just don't remember which one. Thank you. Leave this to me. See how his sword is longer? I believe that's a, uh, uh... What is it? I can't remember the name of it. It's, uh... So you can jump. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. Yeah, you can jump to avoid his attack. And hit him in the head when you do jump. Ooh, yeah, I did not mean for that to happen. So you can stop his uh, attacks if you hit uh, midway through. Yeah, there it goes. I didn't stand a chance. I haven't played this game in forever. Yep. That ear ringing sound. They did really good with like this, the, you know, the effects of this game. Oh, and guys, I am not playing on PS4. I am playing on PS5. So tell me. If you think it looks different, because I've got a 4K, um, the divine air will be coming with me. What's it called? Uh, the uh, damn it, I don't even know what it's called. It's a uh, the DMR or something like that. It's the it's for real 4K. It's it goes into 4K. It's not like 3,800 and 20, you know, or whatever, it's, it's complete 4K. This TV was really cheap, it was on sale at Walmart, and 
I mean, like two hundred dollars off this TV. It was supposed to be like four hundred bucks, and it was only like two hundred and fifty. I think it was two fifty out the door. Yeah. But yeah, guys. The um, the game does look different to me. It does look a little sharper. I just don't like how it glitches like that. His hair was going through the floor. The detail of his armor and the prosthetic. What is this? So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate just yet. The Shinobi Prosthetic, the artificial arm of a shinobi passed down by the sculptor. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of mechanisms, apparently designed with modification in mind. While it bears a number of cuts and is, sustain and is stained, with thick, sustained thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably maintained. So now, this is your arm, this is your weapon, and your means of uh, moving around. It does everything. Okay. Dang, we're 27 minutes in. Dang, that, all that took almost half an hour? Dang. Okay, so this is a remnant. <laughs> this is left by a, another player. Go ahead and view their rating. That was weird. Anyway, so we'll talk to the sculptor. What do you call yourself? <laughs> Her eyes, the eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. So yeah, he's he's the sculptor. He ha he's been carving for a very long time. Why am I here? All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. <laughs> He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. See, he's not completely sure about what he means. Gone. What did you do to me? That is what I call the Shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic. It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. But this device... <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then, you'll come to appreciate its worth. I've said too much. Oh, no. <laughs> what did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name. And that blood runs through your master's veins. Of the divine heir. Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. Okay. You're quite the strange one. Yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. 
to strangers in strange circumstances, you two might get along. Okay. So the sculptors just informed you that your master is alive and some time has passed. So things have changed a little bit. Um, the way things were going, um, remnants. Shinobi can leave behind shadows of their past actions known as remnants. Remnants are left to discipline one's peers. Some are masters of the way ahead. Others provoke sporting rivalries. Open remnant menu. A network connection is required to leave remnants. Yeah, so basically these things you can show people. Oh, hey, you can get through this area by doing this, you know, or you do this. Okay, here's the sculptor's, uh, the uh, praying idol or whatever. Sculptor, yeah, the sculptor's idol. So these things are everywhere. They're your saving points. Keep an eye out for them because you have to touch them to be able to start from there again. seen you before your name <sighs> won't tell me but you do have the look of a skilled shinobi a shinobi or perhaps hmm. sir please heed my humble request face me in battle Swordsmanship. It was a thing to behold. Few have managed to kill me in such a thorough manner. What are you? Some call it undying. Others infested. I can't die, so I just am. How about you? What brings you to a rundown temple like this? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you have a lot on your mind. Say, why don't you use me for some sword practice? Might come in handy for whatever your mission is. A warm body that can't die might prove useful to you. I volunteer mine. Well? Very well. Right then. Let's, they say, swing it. Okay, so you can train with this guy, learn attacks, and every, he'll teach you different things, and you can practice with him on these different things, and um, I don't think he g back, gives you anything, you I don't remember, but we'll come back to another uh, episode. And this right here, I don't get this. I don't know what the fuck this does. Items that become unavailable elsewhere end up in the offering box. When the, I when the box is illuminated, it means an item has uh, found its way inside. Items can be obtained by inspecting the box and, and offering money. See, I don't get that. Because I've, I've, like, pick, I've left items on the ground, like ran away from them, and then come back here, and they're not there. And I'm just wondering, maybe... If I have too much of the item, but then again, I've never reached a a maximum on on an item before, so that's what I'm confused about. Okay, sculptors' idols serve sculptors' idols serve as a checkpoint and can be found throughout Ashina. Resting at a sculptor's idol will completely replenish vitality and restore one use of resurrection. Additionally, quick items and spirit emblems in storage will be added to your current inventory. With some exceptions, resting will also revive defeated enemies. So bosses aren't going to come back, but, you know, the, your run-of-the-mill enemies will be there. Okay. Memories. You can get memories from fighting enemies or bosses. <clears throat> when you get a memory, you can come back here. You give the memory, it'll increase your attack power. When you get four prayer beads, and you can find them everywhere, they're all over the place, they're in chests, you can get them off some enemies, um, but there are a certain number of them, and it'll increase your vitality. So, and, it, and that's not where it ends either for your vitality. You can keep raising your vitality. There is a skill that you can acquire that will, um, you see that zero right there, the blue zero right underneath attack power? That right there, when it gets up to a certain number, 
with the skill that you acquire. When it reaches that number, you can uh, turn it into vitality. Or maybe is it a attack power? I think it's you. I think it's one or the other. Maybe both. I don't know. You can keep it raising your attack power. I know that. And uh, vitality, I think uh, you can also keep raising it, but through different means than the prayer beads. All right. So we're about thirty minutes in. Yeah, thirty-five. Dang. I talk too much. Okay, the Shinobi Prosthetics Grappling Hook allows access to normally unreachable places and a chance to take the high ground. Nearby grappling points are designated with a circular symbol. When this symbol turns green, the grapple point is within reach. L2 to grapple. Yeah, super useful, super cool. You end up using this in boss fights as well. And I think it's like one of the first boss fights that we'll do. You can run and jump and use this, uh, use it in combination with other things. Um, oh, and be careful in this area. There are roosters. They do stupid shit. Remnant. Shinobi can leave behind shadows of their past actions. Those remnants, blah, blah, blah. Vitality is replenished when one's remnant is praised by another shinobi. Remnants can be recorded via... The recorded remnants tab messages can be written to accompany remnants. Yeah, let's uh review this one, okay. So we can continue to do this and just pick up random ones to help people out. Oh I forgot. I was gonna show you what the Ungo sugar is. Ungo sugar sugar candy made in Senpo Temple, sustaining Ungo's blessing, temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks, bite the candy and take the Ungo stance to impart its inhuman benediction? Benediction, yeah. By doing so, you endure the excess karma of man from the spirits within. Senpo monks spread this candy across Ashina in honor of her military heroes. <clears throat> Okay. Good thing to have. This full of ash just blinds your enemies. Um, but yeah, it blinds them, distracts them for just a second. Um, we'll get to the things that have locked um, things on them. Okay, so just be on the lookout for items. They're everywhere in this game. Um, you do not want to pass some things up because sometimes there could be um, treasure. And as you can tell, this guy looks like Hanabi, the guy, Hanabi, the guy that we met, that we killed a little while ago. Bye bye. Okay, acquiring enemy loot. Enemies drops loot, drop loot such as items and money. Multiple enemies can be looted at once and from some distance. Items found in the world are different than loot. In that. They must be approached to be picked up. Press square, press and hold square to acquire loot. Press square near world item to pick it up. Okay, so this is cool. It's like a wind thing that just sucks at it to you. Really cool. I like it. I think it's funny. Like, out of all the things they could have done so you can pick up items, they were like, let's just suck it up. We are going to drop on dude's head and just massacre his ass. But we should wait for him to not be looking in our direction. I totally meant to jump, but didn't. I'll get used to the controls eventually. Oh, so ceramic tiles. You can use ceramic uh broken ceramic uh, shards to throw at a distance and it will distract enemies and with a noise and they'll be oh what the fuck was that and then they'll run into that area and they'll do you know basically you can use it to distract them and get them into a killing blow area or a situation so we're gonna this guy's with the gun so we're gonna yeah and you can jump from any which way you want
You can jump from any distance and get a killing blow on somebody. Oh, and these guys... Beware of the dogs. That's all I can say. Those fuckers um, do some damage, and they keep jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping. I think that there was an item that I missed back there. So I'm gonna grapple hook. So there's a. Ooh, here we go. Enemies are close enough, they will hear you attack other enemies. Obviously, you just witnessed it. Okay. Yeah, there's a few items. There's a, another enemy. You can also charge your attack. Yeah, you can also charge your... Whoa, where'd that guy go? His body literally just fucking, like, glitched and flew away. That was weird. <laughs> that was cool that I caught it on a video, though. Okay. Okay, so we got all the items. Oh, wait, maybe not. I think there might be one over here. Nope, guess I was wrong. I swear I missed another item. Oh, you can just keep grappling, too. <clears throat> as soon as you grapple and get close to another one, you can keep grappling and grappling and grappling. Just like that. Fistful of ash. Okay, beware of the wolves that are in here. And uh, we're about to come up onto our first uh, shinobi prosthetic tool. But we are going to get this idol real quick. Okay. We can... We can we can use travel, but we do not have to rest. And doing so will keep the, uh... It'll keep the enemies from respawning. So, yeah, you can, you can go to the idol and sit down, but you don't have to rest, and the enemies won't come back if you do that. Um, you have to commute, like I said, you have to commune the idol to use it and uh, open it up, or else it'll remain locked, in a way. Okay, I don't know if this is just a way to get away from the enemies, because I don't think it does anything. But yeah, let's see. It's hard to run and press jump, I wish there was a way I could just change it to... Or, you know what? I think I can change the controls. Yeah, yeah. Um, game options. Controller configuration. Okay, so we're going to do the dodge to change to L3. That's what I'm used to. And then the crouch, we're going to change that to circle. Yeah, that works so much better. Oh, yes. So, crouching is usually what I press in other games. Shuriken wheel. Okay, so that's a shinobi prosthetic tool. So, getting that will uh, allow us to use uh, the shurikens. And... I'll show you in a second. What? So, you see the spirit emblems, how it shows 15? Getting that will allow us to uh, use, the getting, use the shinobi prosthetic as much as we want. But you, can't, you, or you only have a set amount, you can increase it. But once you run out, you have to find more. You, oh, look at it, she's here now. You truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, 
I cannot reveal his identity. He's Help my him. master too, bitch. My master Come in fucking titties. To assist you in any Ooh, way I can. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess. That was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor. And I will assist you in that capacity. You Her. made this gourd. Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro. But it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but... He already let it slip. That's the master she served. Forth ...on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any... <coughs> All right. So one gourd seed allows for... No, I don't have it. Huh? Goodbye. Okay, so she's um, here taking care of the shinobi because she knows him from the past. I found one. A shinobi too? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic butt by fitting shinobi tools to your arm. You'll be able to change the form of that thing. Thick shields, break them into splinters, swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, that's all there is to it. Mm. I should call myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Looks like there's blood over there on this, on the idol uh, thing. He's carving up my shit. You're scratching my arm, man. Okay, present the shitty can wheel. Okay, now that that's done, we've got the prosthetic yes, now. Right. That kind faced Buddha you see over there don't do anything <laughs> funny with it. <laughs> prosthetic tools are shinobi tools adapted for the use of the shinobi prosthetic. They can be equipped in the equipment menu and using them consume spirit emblems. Switch to. Okay, so triangle is switch to. I thought it was use tool, but it's R2. Well, I can switch that, I mean, but I'm not going to. Okay. You see the kind faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger, sadness, or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing. Okay, so. What he's speaking of is there's items in this world that you can find that will uh, be able to be used inside of the, the temple here at that little sculpture we were just at. <clears throat> so what it does is it, um, it basically brings your, your memories um, Why do I have to hold it down? Is there a way maybe that I can hold, step dodge, hold to sprint? I don't want to hold to sprint it though. Yeah, I wish there was a way to, so that I didn't have to hold it. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. I really wish I didn't have to hold it, but...
Okay. We'll commune. We can purchase spirit emblems as well. I think they're like, yeah, they're ten. Okay. So, go ahead and purchase eight of them. Gives us ten. Uh, let's see how far we are into the video. Alright, we're 50 minutes in, guys. So, I'm going to cut it right here. And, um, you know what? The sound is really loud. Turn the music down to five. Sound effects will leave up at seven. Voice will leave at eight. Or you know what? We'll turn the music down just a little bit more. No, we'll leave, we'll leave it there. Okay, the sound is good now. All right, guys. I'm gonna. Uh, stop this video. I'm gonna post video, um, and I'm gonna label it the um, part one of Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice. And we're gonna call this one the um, With something clever. Oh, my controller's gonna die. Alright, guys, we're gonna cut it right here. A minute and do another one, and we'll get through this cool ass game together. You guys will see just how good this this game is. I love it. Okay, guys, uh, the other Uchiha here signing out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.